Marami tayong iba't ibang uri ng hypothesis testing. At ngayon, ang gagamitin naman natin ay yung uh, pag-solve ng hypothesis testing using match pair design. At dito sa pair t-test o yung match pair design, ang gagamitin natin word problem will be Chelsea hears that listening to Mozart improves students' performance on tests. She then assumed that perhaps pleasant odors have a similar effect. So to test this idea, she asked 21 randomly selected Barso High School students to work a paper and pencil maze while wearing a mask. Now the mask was either unscented or carried a floral scent. Now the response variable is their average time on three trials. So in this particular example, si Chelsea nagtetest siya ng uh, effectivity ng pag uh, suot nung scented at unscented mask doon sa pagsagot ng kanyang paper and pencil maze. So nag-carry out siya ng tatlong trials sa bawat estudyante at titingnan niya kung magkakaroon ng difference kapag meron kang suot na scented mask at meron kang suot na unscented mask. Now, to carry out a significance test at 5% significance level on the effectivity of using scented mask in solving the paper and pencil maze using the difference of their time trials, nag-collect siya ng mga data set at ito yung mga data set na nagather niya. Doon sa 21 students na volunteers na nag-take uh, ng kanyang test, mapapansin nyo yung first column natin, yung uh, unscented in seconds, it means yun yung time in second ng pag-solve ng paper and pencil maze na ginawa niya. At doon sa student number one, mapapansin nyo na yung nung suot niya yung unscented mask, natapos siya sa pag-solve ng maze in 30.60 seconds. While nung suot naman niya yung scented mask, yung time um, period niya is tumaas, naging 37.97. Now, ang gagamitin natin dito sa ating hypothesis testing is yung mga difference ng mga individuals dun sa trial nila or time trial nila sa pagsuot ng unscented mask at scented mask. At ang uh, negative difference, it will signify na tumaas yung uh, oras, yung time trials nila. Ibig sabihin nun, mas bumagal sila kapag nakakakita tayo ng mga negative differences. So ito yung subject number one or si student number one. At kung kunin na naman natin si student number 13, noong suot-suot niya yung mask na unscented, yung kanyang time trial is 54.47 seconds. At nung sinuot naman niya yung mask na walang amoy or, or yung may, may amoy, yung scented mask, yung kanyang trial ay bumaba or yung time trial niya is bumaba naging 38.30 seconds. Na kapag sinubtract natin siya, ang magiging result natin is positive difference. So, ang mapapansin nyo dun sa ating last column, yung mga differences, pagka nakakita kayo ng negative difference, ibig sabihin nun, bumagal yung pagsagot doon sa maze. At pag nakikita nyo naman yung mga positive na time trial difference, ibig sabihin, mas bumili sila nung um, yung time trial nila, nung suot-suot nila yung scented mask. So, ang titingnan natin dito sa hypothesis testing nitong matched pair design, eh yung mga differences nung kanilang mga time trials. So, dito, ang hahanapin natin is gagamitin natin yung one sample t-test kasi wala naman tayong alam doon sa population, hindi, hindi given yung sigma at hindi given yung um, any information about the population, so we're using t-test. Now, sa t-test, mahalaga na kailangan makita nyo kung normally distributed yung sample nyo. At ito yung normal probability plot noong 21 samples. At saka ang ginamit natin dito para mabuo natin yung normal probability plot is yung mga differences doon sa kanilang mga time trial. Now, gagamitin natin yung mga values na yan para doon sa ating calculation at para sa ating mga conditions para makapagbuo tayo or maka pag-construct tayo ng hypothesis test. At ito yung ating hypothesis testing. Now, step number one, since paired t, pair t test ito or match pairs design, yung mu natin will be the mean time differences between the scented mask and unscented mask. Yung ating null hypothesis will be mu is equal to zero, which means there's no improvement doon sa pagsusuot ng either 
unscented mask or scented mask sa pagsagot doon sa maze ni Chelsea. Now, this alternative tile naman natin will be mu is greater than zero, which means if we have a positive di difference, it shows improved time from using the scented mask. So, ito yung magiging null and alternative natin. So, hindi siya two sample test, one sample test pa rin siya, pero ang ginagamit natin is yung mga differences nung kanila mga time trial. So, sa step number two, yung ating condition, yung unang condition natin, yung samples are randomly selected at uh, sinabi yun sa problem. Tapos ang mga trials will be independent kasi si student 2, hindi naman dependent yung time trial niya sa student 1. At yung sample natin, nakita natin dun sa normal probability plot kanina na hindi siya skewed. So, yung ating sample dito will be normally distributed. So, ibig sabihin na satisfy natin yung tatlong conditions. Now, dun sa step number 3 which is your computation, your calculation of your test statistic, yung ating formula dito will be T equal to the sample mean minus the population mean all over sample standard deviation all over the square root of n. So, yung ating sample mean, kapag kinuha natin yung uh, mean ng mga differences, it will give us 0.9567. So, ito yung sample mean ng ating data set dun sa mga differences dun sa type trial. Minus zero kasi, hindi naman natin alam yung population, so mu is equal to zero, all over the standard deviation ng sample, which is 12.5479, all over the square root of 21. So ito yung ating test statistic at yung mga values na ginamit natin dyan ay e galing doon sa ating list, doon sa mga differences ng time trials. Now yung T statistic natin dito will give us a value of 0.349. At ito yung gagamitin natin mamaya sa pagkuha ng p-value. So ito yung ating step 1, step 2, and step 3. Now, so step number four, so bago kukunin yung step number four, ito yung ating summary kanina, ito yung null and alternative hypothesis. Nakuha na, nakuha na natin yung ating t-statistic which is 0.349 at ating degrees of freedom will be 20 kasi sample size minus 1 will be your degrees of freedom. Now, ito yung ating normal curve at kukunin natin yung area under the curve for p value na t greater than 0.3. 49, which is your T value kanina at nagbigay siya ng 0.3652. Now, ito yung ating P value which is 0.3652 na alam natin na mas malaki kesa sa significance level na 0.05. So, sa pagsulat ng ating conclusion with a P value of 0.3652 which is greater than our alpha of 0.05, we have strong evidence not to reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, there's no significant difference on the mean time trials between using scented mask and unscented mask in solving the paper maze trial nung ginagamit ni Chelsea. So, uh, kung Kukumpara ni Chelsea yung kanyang experiment sa pagkikinig uh, noong uh, Mozart music for you to be smarter, siguro makukonclude niya na wala rin significant difference kung hindi ka makikinig ng Mozart music or makikinig ka ng Mozart music kapag ka mag-aaral ka. So ito yung ating hypothesis testing for uh, difference of two means or paired t-test.